Hey there, Rena Wren here, and in this video, I want to show you what it looks like to be the host of a Zoom meeting on a paid plan on your, not on mobile, but on PC or Mac. So I'm recording this in Loom. I'm going to go ahead and go in here and show you this Zoom meeting that I already have in session. So this is me on my laptop. This is me logged in as an additional, on my same account, on my iPhone. So you can see that here. And then this is me logged in in a free account of mine on my iPad. So I also want to show you what those look like real quick um, and what you can do. So this is on my phone logged in as co-host. And then if I swipe left, I'm sorry, I swipe right, it shows speaker view, which is me on my laptop so and then if i do the same thing with this on ipad you can click i oh, have to find it up here there's a little button there's a little thing that says it says gallery view because that's what it's on and you can click to switch it to speaker view so i'm going to put that back on gallery and then to put this one back on gallery, I swipe left. Okay. Then I can go up here. This is me logged in with my paid account as host of this meeting. So if I click here and spotlight this video, I'm not going to join the audio because I'm recording audio through Loom. That What that does is it spotlights me as the active speaker on everybody's screen. So... Let me just show you. Here's me on iPad. Okay. Kind of hard to see. And then if I, I can still switch to gallery view. But what this spotlight does is if someone is talking, it doesn't change the active speaker to that person who's talking. It keeps the host as the active speaker the whole time. And same thing on here. It's it's me as active speaker. Even if someone else was talking, it wouldn't change that. If I swipe right, that's here. But I still have the option to go here. What The difference is if another participant says something, it doesn't take over the screen with that person. Then that's what happens normally. Active speaker is takes up the whole screen. If you have it in speaker view, it takes up the whole screen and whoever's talking, it goes back and forth. So if you spotlight video like I did here, then when you record this, and I'm not going to, but I do have another video that shows what it looks like recorded. If I record, the recording is only going to have me. It will not even have this little picture of me over here. It will not have that. It will just be me. So if I were teaching a yoga class and I recorded like this, it would just be the teacher doing the class, which is important because you don't want to have little icons or other of people or other people in your videos that you might publish to the public or share with other people because one, there's a privacy issue with that and two, it just looks clunky. So that is how you do that. And then to turn that off, well, actually, let me show you real quick. I can go still, even though I'm active speaker, even though I'm spotlighted this video, I could click to gallery view. But if I'm recording and I do that, it's going to record gallery view. So I don't do that. Once, If I'm recording a class, once I have spotlighted my video and hit record, I do not switch back to gallery view because if you do that, it's going to record whatever version that you're on. So right here, I'm in gallery view right now. It says speaker view here. I'm going to click that and that takes me back to full screen speaker view. I am still on um, as the active speaker. All right, up here, you'll see it says cancel the spotlight video. So let's, and I'm only going to do that to show you how to do it. If you were recording this, to, if you were doing a recording that you wanted to share later, um, you wouldn't do that, or I would hit, um, I would stop recording first, but we're not recording, obviously. 
um, today because I don't need to because that would be a separate video. So cancel spotlight and that just goes back to active speaker. Now, if someone else speaks up, they're going to take over the screen as they're speaking and it will go back and forth. Now, to do this hosting, I'm going to click gallery view real quick just to get them all three there. If you um, do, if you want to spotlight though and record in this way, you have to have three users on. So the way I do that is I log in as the host. I use another device of mine to also log in as the host on the paid account. It's going to automatically make me a co-host there. Then I only need one student to show up to be able to spotlight and record myself. And there's a lot of benefit in doing that because you can use that content and it's just you. So I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, let me know. If you like this, if you're seeing this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, click the bell to get notified of all the new things. I've got a lot of stuff coming out for you for, for YouTube and Zoom and teaching live online yoga classes. Hope this has been helpful. Thank you for being here. Be well, stay well. Bye for now.